All right, we have a different face joining us from the South Bend Clinic this afternoon. Uh, Dr. Bob, you look so different, <laughs> but you look better, I must say. My voice is a little higher. <laughs> this is Dr. Sloan Shaw of the South Bend Clinic joining us to introduce Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which starts in a little over a week from now, October yeah. 1st. First off, welcome to the show. And I gotta ask you this first question. What are the numbers like right now, just mm. to give people some optimism if it's warranted yeah. right now? So actually, you know, over the last few decades, we did see increases in the diagnosis of breast cancer as our testing became much more sophisticated and accurate. Mm -hmm. Over the last decade, I think we've kind of leveled off a little bit of a plateau, mm -hmm. but we still are seeing annually a 0.5% rise in the diagnosis of breast cancer. Mm -hmm. this, some of this is related to increased screening and the benefit in um, technology of mammography. Wow. Mm -hmm. Walk us through a little bit about the screening, because people might sometimes get intimidated by a mammogram, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it, you know, any test is scary. So a screening test is designed to be a test done on asymptomatic women. Okay. So you have no symptoms, you don't think anything is wrong, you go in and get a test, and the purpose is to find very early stage disease. Mm -hmm. Early stage disease allows us to treat it easier, we're at more accurate treatment, the treatment has less side effects, and it's tolerated better, as well as the survival. So by getting a screening test, you know, if we find localized disease in the breast, 99% of women will survive more wow. than five years. So that's the benefit of screening. And so going in to get that mammogram is super important. Mm -hmm. You know, it sounds scary going in, but our mammography centers have gotten really good. They make it very comfortable. A couple of our centers are kind of like this, a couch decorated nicely, homey environment mm -hmm. to make you comfortable, mm -hmm. and they'll walk you through. And every time you do each yearly mammogram, it gets a little bit easier. Well, what can a Becky or a Barbara do to check themselves? I know that's not the necessarily the best way, but they can also check themselves at home, right? So doing your own self breast exam and knowing your tissue is important. If you notice the change, obviously that would alert you that something could be wrong. Mm. But the majority of women actually don't have any symptoms. They go in and have a screening exam and on that exam they find something and that would be an early diagnosis. Um, so knowing your tissue, if you notice a change, you need to call your doctor. Then you need a diagnostic test. But routine annual screening mammograms is the best way to prevent and find early breast cancer so that you can survive and have an easy treatment. And Dr. Shaw, what about that woman or man who's out there and says, I don't have a family history, I'm going to push it off a couple years. So I actually, be okay. you know, that's the most common myth. The majority of people don't have a high risk factor or a family history. Only 15% 15 of women who are diagnosed with breast wow. cancer actually have a family history. I didn't uh, realize so that. So yeah. 85% of women who are diagnosed, they don't have a risk factor. So wow. if you don't get screened, you're delaying your diagnosis and making your treatment much more difficult. And you guys mentioned this off camera, you kind of just alluded to it. You talked about men and their possibility of getting breast cancer. That does right. exist. Tell me a little bit about yeah. that. Just to so each year about 250 to 300,000 women are diagnosed with breast cancer and about 2,100 men will wow. be diagnosed with breast cancer. If you have a family member who is a man who developed breast cancer, that's a high risk marker. So there's a much higher chance that he may have a BRCA gene, which is a breast cancer gene also linked to some other cancers. And if family members have that, there is high risk testing that we can do. So in addition to mammography, MRIs and other screenings so that we can again find those cancers early even for the high risk people. Yeah. October, a very important month, should be a yearly thing though. How can people make an appointment? So we have a QR code we're gonna share. Mm -hmm. By using that, you'll get an online access to Perfect. get an appointment right away. Uh, you can get a mammogram. We'll have a result within 24 hours. Wow. Um, and you'll be able to see it within the South Bend Clinic. We have the MyChart app, and that patient can see her mammogram often before I see it. Wow. So we can address it really quickly and do the best thing for her health and survivability. It's amazing. Okay. We're going to get that QR code. We're going to put that up on this story at WNDU.com. Dr. Shah, thank you so much thank for doing you. this. Thank so you. informative, and I think it's going to save some lives out there, too. Absolutely. Thank right. you. We got more news and sports coming up. Stay there.